The Messenger is made possible with funding from the Specialist High School's major program, also known as SHISM. Do you have your red seal? Hello and welcome to The Messenger, the semester wind down edition. I'm Jordan Rock and on today's program, Trent Newton takes a look at our varsity girls hockey team. Shane Lamont gives out some great advice when preparing for final exams. Shane also had the chance to look at a local rising star on the TikTok scene. And Dylan Ermel did some interesting perspectives of online learning. Hello, I'm Chad Newton, and today I'll be interviewing two players and one of the coaches for the girls' hockey team. But first, I talked to Bella and Sarah to see how their season is going so far. Uh, who am I here with today? Bella Hill. Sarah Zemelink. And uh, what position do you play? Defense. Defense. So you guys had a tournament the last two days in London. How did that go? Um, not bad. Did you uh, score any goals? We scored, yeah, one. Iris scored our goal, and Keeley got the assist. Nice, nice. Sarah, how do you feel you played? I think I played good. Yeah, I think for the most part, our defense, we're strong and we have some solid forward lines. <laughs> um, if you had to travel to one place for a year and you could only bring one teammate, who would you pick and why? Um, I'd pick Jamie Boyd because, yeah. Why would you pick Jamie? Why not? It's Jamie Boyd. And Sarah? Um, Emmy, I think that's pretty self-explanatory as to why, but. And now I will be talking to Mr. Graham about how he likes coaching the girls hockey team. Hockey team, who am I here with? Mr. Graham. And uh, Mr. Graham, what is your favorite memory of uh, coaching the girls team? The girls team? Um, well, I've been very fortunate uh, in the last, well, pre-COVID years when we had season, which we're starting up again uh, mm -hmm. tomorrow. Um, we, we've won the, our district, so District 4, we've won four out of the last five years. Um, so it's been super enjoyable, super fun, uh, watching the girls uh, work hard and, and get rewarded in the end. Uh, if you had to compare your coaching style to one person, who would it be? Uh, Overall, I feel like I'm like um, a Martin St. Louis style coach. He coaches the Montreal mm -hmm. Canadiens. Um, very much, uh, I'm not gonna say, I, I say an open book. Uh, I let the girls kind of just be creative. Yeah. Uh, I give them certain guidelines that I like to see, but outside of that, it's it's I like seeing them be creative in, in the offensive zone, uh, making decisions on their own in the defensive zone. Um, it's easy to point from the bench and say what they should do, but it's nice to uh, give them that freedom to be able to, to work collectively as a team and think for themselves as well. Um, so I hear you're kind of a karaoke singer on the bench, and uh, <laughs> if, if you had to pick one song to sing for karaoke in a karaoke top competition, oh, what would it be? I would uh, I would say my go-to song is either uh, "Fast Car" mm -hmm. by Tracy Chapman or some Backstreet Boys. Yeah. I want it that way. Those yeah. are probably my go-to. That's a good one. That's good. <laughs> Thank you for watching this portion of the Messenger. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Are you concerned about upcoming exams? Do you have very little knowledge of how to study? Do you seek guidance from your teachers, but don't have the guts to ask for help? Are you fearful of failing? Well, if you've been thinking of any of these questions, you're in luck. Today on The Messenger, we will be looking more in depth at what teachers suggest doing for preparing for exams and going into exams. We will also be looking at what students are doing to prepare for exams. Most students have an experience writing a proper exam since before COVID. So it'll be interesting looking at the different perspectives of the school. So Max, how are you preparing for 
end of semester exams this year. We'll have a lot of different variety of classes this year. So woodworking, I've been uh, hand carving a spoon every single night before bed just to practice my skills. You see the blisters I get on my hands, they just like have been building up. So like it's getting harder actually, but hopefully, hopefully I'm good by the end. Well, I think of the technology department, it's quite often activity-based summative evaluation. So if in construction class, I may be building a project. In my class, I may be making a video. I think it's really important to see what where the marks are. If 25% of your last two weeks is based on a project, then you really should be dedicating a whole bunch of time in class and perhaps out of class on getting that project done. So look where the marks are and then start dividing your time based around that. So, Will. How are you preparing, studying, whatever you do to get a good mark on exams coming up soon? i look at my old tests. On your old tests, you see clues at what maybe the teachers are preparing to put on the exams? Yep, because they said the tests would be the exams. The biggest thing is go through your tests. So never throw out your tests, never throw out assignments. Go through all your assignments, go through all your tests, work together. With your, with your teacher and your, uh, and your friends in class and make sure you know how to answer those questions. Alexis, how are you preparing to study for these upcoming exams? Um, well, I have, I have a cheat sheet for each of my classes. I make myself go over it every night, sort of like familiarize myself with topics I might not understand or don't know. Um, I think the most important thing is probably to study ahead of time. Study a little bit for a couple weeks, just a little bit each night uh, leading up to the exam. That way when it is exam day or test day, I can sort of just try and remember. The biggest thing that I used to do when I was in high school is I would actually make fake exams or tests with questions that I thought would be on the exam and then I would do them and I would mark them and I just found it a really helpful way to review the content to think about some of the questions that might be on the exam. Something that took maybe 15 or 20 minutes to do really helped out in the long run in terms of review moving forward. Well I'm actually in a law and so I've been preparing for law by um, committing lots of crimes. I, I stole a pencil <laughs> actually from Will. Um, so don't, don't tell them that. Now for the exam I know what not to write down, right? What else have you been stealing, sir? I stole Connor's pencil too. Did you steal anything else? <laughs> Only my kindergarten crush's heart. You have the right to remain silent. Anything can be and will be used against you in the court of law to study this semester. I'll be using my book. I was born to be wild, but only till 9 p.m. or so. Have any wise words for the children out there preparing for exams who are struggling mentally, physically, emotionally, and they don't quite know what they're going to do and what to look forward to in exams? Suck it up, buttercup. You heard it here, folks. Suck it up. Buttercup. Thank you, Will. Did you know that the longest mountain chain is actually underwater? Yeah, Mr. Scott? Mr. Scott. Yeah, I did know. I see his TikToks all the time and I want to be in one. He's on my For You page. Um, Mr. Scott is a great teacher. He's one of my besties. <laughs> I love his videos. Love Mr. Scott. get the orange soda it's amazing okay what would you ladies like to drink orange soda please i'll have the strawberry soda. 
I just kind of scroll my For You page and look for lip syncs or dances or different things that kind of inspire me or motivate me and then I just kind of give them a shot. It sometimes takes multiple takes but um, usually yeah just from my For You page or from friends sending me sounds or dances. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say there's a trick per se. I think just being yourself and, and putting yourself out there and not worrying about what people think about you or, um, you know, ideal images. You know, I, I just like to rep represent myself um, as who I am. And, and so I think people like that. I think they like the authenticity of people just being themselves. And so um, I think that that's what's helped. And, and maybe the majority of our school population now jumping on, on board and, and helping to uh, push some of my videos and follow me as well. It looks glamorous. Glamorous. Love Mr. Scott. He's always just that weird lady. Who is she? Uh, Sarah Perry is probably who people are referring to um, and I actually met Sarah through TikTok. We just got connected through seeing each other's videos um, and realized that we both live in Ontario and only about an hour and a half away from each other. Um, so she's actually a really good friend of mine now and we get together quite often and yeah we're just really good friends. Yeah, I want to make a TikTok with him. Can you make a TikTok with me? Make a TikTok dance. <laughs> Did you know that in Hudson Bay, you will weigh a tenth of an ounce less than you would anywhere else on Earth? Which means that Canada has less gravity than anywhere else in the world. Did you know that a cloud can weigh around a million pounds? Fun fact, there are more trees on the Earth than there are stars in the galaxy. Mrs. Murray. My name is Mr. Bravo E.B. Lily Sprague. If you can wait in through the two drops. I think it's an option for students who um, have the ability to work well on their own and remain motivated. Um, it works well for some students, but it doesn't work well for all students. I think online learning um, has a lot of potential and can really work well for people who like to work independently and people who enjoy learning in their own space. Um, I do think it can be challenging because it requires so much self-direction, but uh, overall I think it can be positive. I think it sucks and I get bored. <laughs> uh, I don't have any human interaction except for with my family and 10 year olds are not very good conversationalists I have to say. Uh, online school is you know it played a significant role uh, obviously in COVID now you have to realize that there was a big push by the government to get online school going a number of credits prior to COVID so this actually became a, a very quick uh, immersion in the process and to tell you the truth I think most parents would rather see it go away I don't think students did well with with online learning they need to be in a classroom did you know that there used to be roughly 2.5 billion T-Rexes on earth but not all at the same time the Messenger is made possible with funding from the Specialist High School's major program, also known as Shizm. Do you have your red seal? Well, that is all the time we have for this, our second to last episode of the year. For The Messenger, I'm Jordan Rock.